only eighth in Brussels last Friday. This is the man, though, perhaps the athlete of the year for many, the Tokyo Olympic champion in a new world record. Remember that time, 45.94, Carson Vaughan went round the lap of the track, a good 400 flat time, but it was over the barriers. Two world records this summer, the first in Oslo earlier on. Dos Santos, the young Brazilian, he's only 21, he took the bronze medal in Tokyo. He won in Brussels last week, he won in Chortsov on Sunday. He's the world number three this year, and he will have Varholm in his sights here. Varholm's last race, by the way, was a relatively poor for him 400 in Lausanne a couple of weeks back. Karen McMaster, the Commonwealth champion, for the British Virgin Islands, goes in lane five. He was fourth in Tokyo, and poor him, fourth two years earlier in the World Championships. In lane four, Yasmani Copello, sixth in Tokyo, the Rio Olympic bronze medalist. Second in shorts of on Sunday, behind Dos Santos. He'll be chasing hard those three big names outside him. Rasmus Magui of Estonia. Seventh in uh, Tokyo, sixth in Rio. He's a big-time competitor. Set a personal best in that Tokyo final a month ago in 48.11. Ramsey Angela for the Netherlands goes in lane two. Ran the uh, fourth leg for the Dutch 4x400 team that took silver in Tokyo. His leg time, 44.12 on the flat. He's only 21. And Chris McAllister of Great Britain, UK champion, goes on the inside. Didn't run in Tokyo. But fifth in shorts of on Sunday in 49.3 was very close to his lifetime best, so he's still in good form. Varholm holds the meeting record from two years back, 46.92. But don't forget that this summer he's uh, beaten that time a couple of times already. A world record in Oslo, 46.70. We thought that was special. Remember, he took down Kevin Young's record from 1992. And then that astonishing, hard-to-believe time in Tokyo, 45.94. It's a time that may yet have a lifetime rather like that of Kevin Young. It could stay there for years, is my feeling. But Coppello in four, McMaster in five, Dos Santos in six. Watch him, he's got uh, Varholm outside him in seven. Price in eight, the German. Mm. Don't often get a full start in a 400 meter hurdles. Did you see it? What are you laughing at? Bang, bang, bang. It was. It oh, was, I see. It was emphatic, wasn't it? Uh, it's actually come up, Tim. Uh, nobody false starting as such. I'll be interested to see again what the starter decides here. There you can see the reaction times. I didn't see a, an obvious false start. No, and we don't want there to have been a full start, do we? Not in a, a full lap race. It's fairly rare in 400, 400 hurdles to see full starts where a tiny fraction of a second is less critical. No, impossible to tell from that. Rasmus Magui goes in uh, lane three. He's only had Brussels since Tokyo, the Estonian. He was fifth last week in... Uh, Brussels 49-1-3, almost, uh, well, actually, just over a full second outside his best from the Tokyo final, and it is going to be a yellow card for the long walk. It is indeed. And it's going to Dos Santos. A slap on the wrist, isn't it? Ooh, that twitch of the head. I've seen those given as uh, red cards. Well, well it, it's a movement, but if it didn't register on the block, but you have to stay still before, just before the gun goes. But it takes something to move your head with that bigger twitch and for it not to move your feet a tiny bit on the blocks, and that what is normally gets the buzzer going in the starter's ears. So the second time I'm asking then, this men's 400-metre hurdles. Chris McAllister, the British champion, in one. Ramsey Angela of the Netherlands in two. Rasmus Magui, the Tokyo seventh placer, in three. Coppello, the sixth placer for Turkey, in four. Karen McMaster, the Commonwealth champion, who was fourth in Tokyo, in five. Dos Santos, the bronze medalist, in six. The world record holder of Aarholm in seven. And the German champion, Price, in lane eight. Ooh, and lane 
four would be Capello. Camera focusing on Varholm, I hope, because the director doesn't know who is uh, guilty, if anybody. Yeah, it looked like Capello to me, Tim. Didn't they got eight eyes like a spider? Uh, yeah. Or was that the legs? They got six eyes, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, it's come up. Well, that would be a great shame. Uh, Vetter in the javelin while they sort that out. Uh, looks like Capello will be gone there. Yeah, just come back that story very quickly about Andrejic uh, while we see Vetter. Great gesture from the Olympic silver medalist, but did get an Olympic silver medal given back to her. Vetter would love to have had an Olympic medal, wouldn't he? Now, 89 metres. Not that one. Well, it's a win, though, and... I don't know, what do you think of Vetter? You know, this year he's, he's been complaining at times, he's got himself a bit upset, Olympics didn't go his way. Now we look back on this year, he at least finishes on a high as the Diamond League champion. There's What's Capello, the, sorry. Yeah, me. the orange vest, centre of picture. He has been shown the red card. He's gone over to look at the equipment near the, the uh, start line. This was about 20 seconds ago. You're seeing a recording of him. Hands out, me? Are you sure? This must be a mistake. Usually the athletes know that. And he is protesting. And I'm afraid that uh, Yasmani Copello of Turkey, former uh, Cuban, moved to Turkey in 2012, began representing his new country. Two years later, he is the Turkish record holder, of course. He is gone. Well almost a token amount of resistance but he accepts it with dignity does the 34 year old oldest man in the race I'm afraid he's gone and for the third time of asking now this causes some delay Carson Valholm and the other seven have to refocus I'll go through that lineup for you once again Chris McAllister of Great Britain in one Ramsey Angela of the Netherlands in two Rasmus Magee Tokyo finalist goes in lane three he was seventh in Japan Karen McMaster goes in five. Remember, four is now empty. Capello's gone. Dos Santos goes in lane six. The Brazilian, who's been in such fine form this year, a string of fabulous performances. He went under 47 seconds for that bronze in Tokyo. Varholm, the world record holder there, in lane seven for Norway. And Price of Germany on the outside. Well, one obstacle removed for Varholm. Ten to come, though, in the form of these barriers. He's already up and past Price, and he's attacking this one. He doesn't mind running blind like this down the back straight. He's hurdling ahead of Dos Santos, who has gone off hard. So has McMaster. Halfway. Yes, and he's still a couple of strides ahead of the pair inside him. Is the Olympic champion, the world record holder. Good running from McMaster, who's probably up a little bit on Dos Santos at this stage, although the Brazilian does finish strongly. Now Varholm into the straight, has no idea what's going on behind him. Just has to keep running hard. They're coming now, though. Dos Santos coming back at Varholm. Clears that barrier well. He's always so strong on the run-in, and he wins there by three metres, Varholm. 47.35. He takes the Diamond League title. He maintains his fabulous season. The only loss he's had for a couple of years in any race was that 400 in Lausanne a couple of weeks back where he was fourth in 45.51 on a cold, breezy night. He looked really out of sorts. Certainly wasn't himself, but that is more like the Carsten Valm we've come to know and love. 47.35. Is confirmed. Dos Santos second, 47.81. Another brilliant run from the Brazilian. He's so young. Karen McMaster, 48.24. Yeah! Well clear in third place of Magui's 48.84 in fourth. Well, you, you could forgive him for making sure he wins tonight, not doing you know, <laughs> an incredibly fast time. It's been such a long season. The celebrations back home and. All of the expectations that have been on his shoulders have been something which you can understand the man thinking, OK, enough is enough. Just looking, Tim, uh, it wasn't quite the slowest race of the year because obviously he ran slow in the heats. He did not go that quick. It doesn't matter, does it? You know, he, he just, just for a little... No, you know, when he came off the bend there, you think, 
Oh, is Dos Santos going to get close here? But yeah. no, he just moved away nicely, kept a little bit back. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to watch him. Did you read his quotes uh, from uh, yesterday or the day before? I'm thinking of the 800 metres. Oh, that was that was a few uh, a couple no, of weeks ago. I think I read that. Yeah, I think he repeated it here in the press conference because he was asked about what he'd said, and he said, "Yeah, I'm seriously thinking about it." Um, I, I, yeah, I mean, he, he, he maybe wants to give himself another challenge because you made a, a very good point. How does he match what he's done? And he won't. You know, he's not going to run 45. I don't think it, we'll see anybody run under 46 for years to come. Having said that, I'd love to see it happen to be proven wrong. Dos Santos special talent give him another two or three years of hard training and he may come back i mean Valholm is four years older he's got four years more hard training former decathletes of course so wonderfully rounded athlete but um yeah i think you're right steve he's he's done the job at 400 hurdles now that what's left for him Where's